Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Warship Gunner 2. In the last episode, we did mission 120, and did we do 110? We did 110 and 120. That's right, we did two missions, because they're both, uh, well, the second one, at least, was kind of short. Uh, and we really just don't have a lot of money to do R&D, um, or at least not the R&D that I want to do. There's there's certainly some R&D that I want to, like, prioritize and focus on, and we just don't have enough money for all of that right now. So, um, I think what we're going to do today is we're actually going to try to take the destroyer again, uh, and, I don't know, I just kind of want to try it. I don't, I'm not expecting much, but, I mean, it killed uh, Leviathan, so, let's do it, right? So, um, let's just go look at our designs real quick here, namely the systems. Yeah, that's better. Um, and the gas turbines got better as well, although, we'll have to look and see if that actually helps us. So let's undo the engines. So we're doing 49 knots. If we go to the new engines and we ditch one, we're doing 50.7. Uh, so it's a gain of 1.6 knots, which is okay. Um, I mean, it's I'll take what I can get, right? So, uh, but yeah, with that in mind, let's uh, bring the destroyer. It's got a whole bunch of torpedoes on it. It's got lots of anti-air missiles, which I don't think will be super necessary in this mission, but. With the torpedoes and the um, the the couple of anti ship missiles it's got, this should work out okay. So let's let's get to it and uh, to battle we go with the Firefly. Because why not, right? <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to keep as many ships viable as late into the game as possible. Now, of course, once you get to certain weapon systems, you can make literally anything viable, like the AGS guns. Slap a few of those on any ship, and it's going to be fine. Um, but we're not quite at that point yet, so this is kind of an interesting test for me to see how late can I make even a basic ship like this with relatively basic weapons viable. So this will be this will be cool. This will be a neat little experiment. We're still on normal difficulty, so we don't get any breaks there. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. This is a huge map, and this is actually one of our faster ships, um, believe it or not. So. Especially when I hit the boost, we're doing 70 knots, which is really sweet. But even as a base, doing 50 knots is one of the fastest ships in our fleet. Not by a huge margin, but it is up there. So that is a Submarine 9, or Type 9, which, if I remember correctly, is actually the tougher one. Because in this mission, it's kind of weird. The first Submarine closest to you is stronger than the other ones for some reason, I think. Or maybe I'm thinking of a, a, a different mission. I don't know. Point is, there's multiple types of submarines, and some of them are significantly tougher than the others. So, let's just see if any of these guys need uh, extra torpedoes, or extra Azrocs. Which, you know, kind of turn into torpedoes, but... Let's see, we got this guy... That's the last sub, I guess. So, let's see. HP... Also, it was pointed out that the S rank for this mission is indeed... A uh, twin hull cruiser, so that's very cool. See, that one was a Type 21, which is a little different, but it didn't seem particularly like stronger than than the other one. So I don't know. I could just be thinking of something else, or or it could be that it's because it's EL2 and things just you know scale differently, or it could they it could be that they are different, but they're different when you're using depth charges and not noticeably different when you're using Azrocs because Azrocs are just that good. There's a variety of things it could be, I don't know. I'm just spitballing at this point. So we got lots and lots of torpedoes. We don't have a lot of anti-ship missiles, but that was never the point of this destroyer, so... We're gonna get in close here and see what we can do with some torpedo action. Of course, I'm not opposed to using, uh, to using some missiles as well. It's just gonna be a little harder to restock them, but... We kind of expected that when we built this thing, so... Hello, Bismarck. How are you doing? Torpedoes away! Uh, illumination flares. And more torpedoes. Yep, there we go. Give me some parts and ammo and some more parts. Excuse me, I would like to get those parts crates. Yep, that one. And this one, I think I see another one over there. Yep. Let's go for it. We are back full on ammo again, so time to give chase to those guys and deal with them. Uh, put up another illumination flare just because we can. 
And let's go catch up to this group of ships over here. Fires and missiles. I'm not going to go as hog wild with the missiles as I did the first time. Because a lot of these guys might not need more than one missile. So let's see how this goes this way. No reason to waste ammo just because we can pretty much rest assured that we'll find more. It's not a very good reason at all. Fire one more. That should definitely do it. And this guy will be dead. Ah. All right, one more. Funds crate for us. And of course, the last two groups are really, really, really far away from each other. Because that's you know that's how this mission works. As annoying as it is. All right, health that we don't need. This is going remarkably well. Although, to be fair, um, we're still fighting like EL1 ships. Like none of these ships so far have been EL2 like laser ships or anything tough. So it's not terribly surprising. Um, and in fact, so far, until then, um, it was basically the exact same as EL1. But now, those guys have been brought into the picture. And, uh, might pose an extra threat. I don't know what kind of ships they are, obviously, but they could be a problem, maybe. Where are you guys going? Straight away from me? At me? At me, I think. I think they're coming this way. I think they're coming this way. Good. That means we don't have to wait so long to get into a fight. I'm gonna get in close and just torpedo these guys. Save my missiles for other situations. Whoop. Dodging shells here. Ah, there's some laser battleships. Oh dear. Hoop, hoop, hoop. That EM shield's coming in handy now. Alright, here we go. Torpedoes away! Fire on deck. We're okay, we're okay. Fire contained. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Die, all of you. Important thing to remember that's easy to uh, forget is that I can run out of uh, torpedoes almost as quickly as I can run out of missiles. Hopefully, one of these guys, hopefully, will drop an ammo crate for us. All right. Well, technically, we've finished the mission, but I want to get an S rank, which means we're going to go back and try to kill more stuff. Uh, ammo? Darn it. Funds. Okay. Well, I was a little wasteful with my torpedoes there, because I kind of overestimated how many we had. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder if any of those uh, ammo crates from the submarines are still up. Okay, there's you. Uh, health, uh, nope, so let's look more to the right here, maybe, um, I'm thinking no, southeast, south, no, darn, well, that's kind of a problem, <clears throat> gonna have to be a little more careful with my ammo from here on out, let's go this direction and deal with these ships, just in case any of them happen to be, like, easier to kill. Like, they might be EL-1 style ships instead of EL-2 style ships. But let's go find out, because we need to... Really need to get some ammo here. Uh, they are southeast of us-ish. East-southeast, there they are. They do look like EL-1 ships. Two cruisers and a bunch of destroyers. So that we can handle. And one of them, at least, should drop an ammo crate. Fingers crossed, at least. Charge. Full speed ahead. Let's straighten out all the weapons and look cool on our approach here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fireflies coming to get you guys. Nobody escapes. Nobody. Let's target the destroyers in the back first. All right. Yeah, that cruiser was not inside the box, but okay. Fires and missiles. I think it works out perfectly, because I'm pretty sure I can target exactly eight ships with this Aegis system, and there are exactly eight of them. Okay, we've got no ammo crates so far. Oh, crap. Uh, chaff, illumination flare. I need one of you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're just going to have to be really, really picky about how we use our remaining ammo. Um... So, uh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Uh, alright, well. Enemy reinforcements oh, boy. Okay. Well, 
let's hope one of these guys uh, drops some ammo. Crap. I wasn't expecting there to be. I uh, wasn't expecting there to be so many more reinforcements like this. Oh dear. Oh dear, there. It could be real bad. Obviously, the treasure for this mission is in EL1. We got that before. I don't even remember what it is, to be frank, but um, all I know is that it is an EL1 treasure. Uh, yeah, lots of big ships in this group here. We got lasers coming in. I'm gonna fire off some chaff, because uh, we've also got some missiles coming in. I'm gonna fire two missiles at each of these normal battleships and see if that's enough. No. Okay. Here, we're gonna try to be a lot more intelligent about how we use our torpedoes here. Let get to the side. Like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Health. Okay. We need to focus on sinking some ships right now. We're gonna die at this rate. Oh boy. Uh, uh, get that health crate, get the health crate, get the health crate. Ah, uh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, we're still alive, but we're out of ammo. And there's no more ammo. All right, let's retreat and see how we do for the ranking. How we do? Do we get the S rank? Enemy flees withdrawing. Okay. Uh, boy, I hope we got the S rank. <laughs> It'll be close. Yes. Nice. Sweet. Twin hull cruiser. And we even got some new, a new bridge out of that. And an aft bridge. And a flag for the German Navy. Another new thing. And a signal flag. Okay, cool. We got a bunch of stuff. Save present score? Heck yeah. I'm quite proud of how that went, all things considered. We did get our S rank, which was the most important thing out of that. So let's head to the briefing for the next mission then. We're at, what, 170-ish, sort of, roughly, thousand? Or something? Alright, first EL2 boss fight. Hmm. How do we want to celebrate this occasion? Maybe with the new twin hull cruiser that we just got, huh? Huh? This is a ship? A super dreadnought? No, even larger than that. It's the thing that's almost totally destroyed the Pacific Fleet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Over 80 knots. Yeah, we'll have ships that can do that eventually. Eventually. Okay. Now. Um. <laughs> Guys, torpedoes, subnuclear reactor. Okay, cool. Let's look at some R&D. And then we'll design uh, our twin hull cruiser, I think. Unless the R&D just takes a while to get through. But it shouldn't. Helis are all caught up. <clears throat> for now. Um, attack systems, we still can't. That's really expensive. I really don't want to spend more money until we have that, but also. Alpha. Yeah, you know, uh, auto reload system Bravo is. Or beta is still pretty good. So, you know, I don't feel like we're hurting for that right now, but I'm not gonna just spend money for the sake of spending money yet. Of course, we're going to get to that point where we want to actually literally research everything, because that's the point of the Let's Play. That's the end goal, at least. Um, but we're just not there yet. So, like, this stuff, I would love to advance these trees, but there's just not a priority for me right now. Um, so, missiles, come on. Give me my RAM missiles, please. Torpedoes, though. We do get the guided torpedoes, which are going to be really nice. Uh, get the extra barrels for those guys. And those guys... Um, so let's, I'm just curious here, 48 centimeter has an offensive of 340 when it has two barrels, and this one has 280, so the, uh, oh wait, that's not, oh, those are, yeah, those are oxygen torpedoes, yeah, yeah, okay, so the guided torpedoes do actually even more damage than the oxygen torpedoes, and of course, they're guided, which is great news, so, let's see, 36 rounds versus... 40 rounds, so they have more ammo. They have a shorter reload time, too. 320 dispersion. Not that dispersion matters, because they're guided. Same dispersion. Range, 2300. 2800. They're just straight up better. Like, in literally every way, they're just better. Which is good news. I'm really happy about that. Um, but, yeah. It'll help keep the destroyer relevant for a little bit longer. Now, what is... 
What is this? Oh, these are our... This is that weird section of anti-sub torpedoes that, like, I don't really see the point of, but <laughs> they're there. Um, artillery. This is another thing. I bet we can get the next prototype weapon. Like so. Uh, rapid... Uh, main guns... So I would love to get this kind of stuff, but it's just not necessary right now, and I want to save as much money as is realistic for uh, auto-reload and some other good things. Like, the, the really, really important stuff that's really going to change how we play. So, let's go to the Talia Amara and change the design. We are going to... Well, what we're going to do first is we're going to save the game. Uh, let's see, how do I... I forgot how I do this. Player designs. Here we go. So this was the Sragon. This one we're gonna save in design three here. There we go. So that's saved the way it is. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back out to the dock since we have this design saved. And I like this design. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrap it uh, like so. And well, actually, we're not gonna scrap it because I don't want to have to <laughs> retype the whole name. It would take a little while. Um, and I'd have to pull it up again so I could, um, you know, spell it right. So what we're really going to do is we're literally going to strip everything, including the engines and the, and just all of it, because it's all going to be different. The whole layout's going to be different. So we're going to strip everything just like this, except the systems, because why not? Um, there's no point stripping those. We're going to change the hull to another cruiser, and we're going to go with the twin-hulled cruiser. Heck yeah. It's still a cruiser, technically. Strictly, technically speaking. Um, but it's got the weight capacity to back it up. So, structures. Let's start with the bridges and stuff, because these are going to be just things I want to get out of the way right now. So we're going to put that there. If we're going with gas turbines again, then we're not going to bother with a uh, smokestack. So we could put this on here since space is, uh, space is so much less of an issue now. Um, bridges wouldn't be a bad investment right now, but again, not a priority, so... Um, it is a significant jump in command, but man, that takes up a lot of space. Maybe I can put some missiles underneath it, though. You know what? I bet I probably could. I could probably line that whole area under there with Azrocks without, uh, without much trouble. Well, not if I have the engines down there. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Speaking of engines, let's go ahead and throw on, I don't know, like, hang on, I want to go this standalone, yes, gas turbines, that's what we want, um, we're going to go with the sevens, <clears throat> let's see, if I go like this, I could go here, here, oh yeah, let's go with ten gas turbines, I think the cruiser before had eight gas turbines or something, so we're going to put on... Sorry, we're going to put on uh, 10. There we go. That is looking pretty good. Now, I'm just curious here. Yeah, see, we're already at the point where having more engines isn't really helping us more. So, um, primary weapon is, of course, going to be our beloved anti-ship missiles for now. Um, this is basically just a case of ammunition stockpiling. Um, ooh. Ooh. That just gave me an idea when I said that. Uh, let's see. Two things. First step, we're going to take these. We're going to move all. If I can't put Azrox down here because of how tall they are, maybe I can put ammo depots down there because they are not as tall. Aha! Look at that. Nice. I like it. So we're going to put this here. We're going to put that there. We're going to move this forward. Uh-huh. Okay, we're heavy. We're very heavy indeed. Um, let's get rid of both of those. Wow, we are real heavy. Okay. Well, we gotta have... Let's let's uh, let's put on our, our missiles here. Um, if I can get, like, at least six launchers, I think is, is gonna be necessary here. Let's go along the sides, too. Just because we, we can, it looks kinda cool. One. Uh, two. Uh three. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Um, four and five. Now we're going to actually take this one and turn it around because I think it'll look a little bit better that way. What else do we have? We have our CIWS. I'm just going to get like one on there as a placeholder. Um, 
like so. I don't really care where. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, we had our high angle guns as well because they're just super useful in so many ways. And I just went the long way around to get to them because I wasn't. I was more focused on my words than what I was actually doing. Um, we have, we didn't have torpedoes. I don't feel like trying to add torpedoes onto this thing. We'll let the destroyer be the torpedo boat. Um, what else? Uh, rockets, we need our chaff. We need our, and again, I'm just gonna throw one down anywhere for placeholder, just so the slot is reserved. Rockets, we're gonna go with our illumination flares. Unnecessary, but helpful. Um, we had, we usually had cruise missiles and Azrox. I can't forget about the Azrox. Let's get the cruise missiles on here first because they're ludicrously heavy. Ooh, or cluster missiles. Dang it, we should get more cluster missiles. But we haven't really, well, we've got, we've got as many things as uh, we can research in missiles right now and it's just not helping us out that much. Uh, oh, wait, really? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I like that. Um, sweet, dude. Hang on, let's get some Azrox in here, too, before I forget. Yes, Azrox. Okay, we're just gonna set them there, because these guys are definitely gonna move. So the chaff, we're gonna start putting the chaff. Let's, this is gonna look really silly with how little is on this deck, but honestly, I don't know. I mean, with our limited, um... It's still, weight is still an issue. Um, with our limited weight here, this is going to be just plain old difficult no matter what we do. Hopefully, uh, I'll probably end up cutting some of these engines out, honestly. But, let's see, how far there? Okay, wow. Now, I could do this, and I could go out one more. Now we're over again. Let's uh, suppose we get rid of one of those. Oh god, we're going slow. Well, we're not going that slow. Oh, the armor too. I forgot about the armor's not great right now. Ah, uh, boy. What if we went with 31? We're still not that much slower. What if we ditch another one of those? We're back in weight again. We're slow. But how are we looking for ammo on our weapons? Uh, a lot of missiles. Only five cruise missiles, but it's kind of to be expected, but we have a lot of chaff and flares and anti-ship missiles, which is very good news for us. Now I wonder, what if, so one of these, wait, 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 let's do some research here. One of these weighs 500 tons, that's what I thought. One of these weighs 80 tons, so two of them weighs 160 tons. What if we did a trade-off here and we said, let me move these out of the way because I want VP to not like be a factor. So if I put those there versus, okay, if I put those there, I put these here, we just really scrunch these together. Let's turn those around. Whoops, uh, undo that last move, there we go. And we put this here, and we put this here. All right, now, if we have just one of these with the same amount of missiles, launchers, that is, 144 rounds, so, what if we added several more of these? One, two, like this. This VP is roughly where it was. Two of one. That's better. And our weight is still better. Okay. Now, what if we just ditch this all together and added more... Now, I'd rather use that weight for having more cruise missiles, like this. Uh, now, what else we could do to remedy the weight situation is this. Aha! 144 missiles. That's really not bad. And 8 cruise missiles is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we've still got to play around with having more high angles on here. But we can fix that pretty quick. One, two... These are really just supplementary. Three pair of high angle guns and uh, some CIWS. Let's see, we got one, um, two, already over, overweight again. Three, I have a plan for that. Four and five. I'd like to have more of these though because these help us shoot down missiles and stuff. The high angles really are just for dealing with buildings and, and whatnot. 
And they're very, very good at that. So what if I just ditch one of those? Oh, that's less helpful than I thought it would be. Hmm. Hmm. What if I condense this to one? That's better. Let's go with one more pair of high angle guns. Like this. And we can use that extra weight to get some more of these on here. Yes. Okay, so we're only doing 43 knots. And the ship looks a little goofy. But minus both of those things. I think we're doing pretty good here. Ah, oh, heliport. Shoot, I forgot to put a heliport on. Uh, this has been a longer design than I planned on. Heliport, heliport. Let's see how heavy this is. It's real heavy. Uh, uh, there. Um, 144 missiles, four cruise missiles. We're kind of already used to that amount of ammo anyways. See, this is the problem, though, is this, other than the fact that it has more health, more hit points, this doesn't feel like an improvement over the other cruiser. Like, I feel like in terms of the weapons we currently have, we pretty much hit the cap of what's feasible on a cruiser. Which is a crying shame. Um, yeah, well, uh, we'll throw ahead, uh, go ahead and throw some aircraft on here. We'll get two, how about this, we do two support helicopters, like so. Uh, we're gonna edit those into group B just because I'm so used to having them in group B and we'll get a fighter on board Like you in group A. There we go. All right um, I'm gonna adjust this slightly because I really don't feel like I'd rather have two fighters and one helicopter than vice versa so There we go Okay, so our armor is better than the other cruiser, which is good. This cruiser does actually have more hit points, which is also good. Uh, systems are up to date. Structures are as good as we can hope to hope them to be. Engines are, again, good as we can hope them to be. And our weapons are in the same boat, literally and metaphorically. Um, so I think that's basically the best we're going to be able to get out of this thing, at least, you know, with the without taking forever or without sacrificing too much more speed. So I'm excited to try that out in the next episode of Worship Gunner 2, but that will do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.